G'day! Welcome to the Australian Italian Festival in Ingham. Mangiamo, giochiamo e amore! Yay! Eat, play and love. It's the advice for the supersized weekend ahead. And as for diets, well, they're to be thrown out the window. Over 60% of people in this country town of Ingham, North Queensland, are Mediterranean and they're proud of it. We love to, to show our cooking. So now for a little history. In the 1920s, boatloads of Italians migrated from the northern and southern parts of Italy in search of a more optimistic life in Australia. And they found Ingham. The majority of these people earned a living through working on cane farms. They slugged away tirelessly night and day cutting and planting these crops of sugarcane by hand and eventually they bought their very own cane farms. Sam Cavallaro has the bad back to prove it. I mean it's, uh, it's, it's really bad, you know. They tell me my, my back's like that. Oh yes, I worked on the cane farm, cane cutting for nearly 10 years and cane cut, talk about cane cutting, shoulder loading and and that sort of thing, and it was a big job. So there's no guessing why this Australian-Italian festival in Ingham is such a hit every year. The town is full of vivacious spirits. Hey. It brings the whole community together to celebrate the integration of the Australian and Italian culture. For over a decade, it was tradition for the festival to be held in the main street of Ingham, but this year, things are being shaken up a bit. Around me is the newly developed Tidal Wetlands, one of the largest tropical wetlands in the Southern Hemisphere. And this is where all the celebrations are happening. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. Whether people admit it or not, it's the cuisine that's the main draw card for tourists and even locals. The pasta, the ravioli, it's all freshly handmade for the occasion. Alana Mason hasn't missed an Italian festival since it all began 17 years ago, not as a spectator, but as a cook. Her quail and polenta have always been a particular favourite with the festival goers, but the menu goes on. OK, we've got uh, castagne, quail and polenta, um, involtini, is salad, barbecue, um, uh, octopus, arancini, spaghetti, pasta, ravioli, peperonata, costine di maiale, there's plenty to eat. Nobody's going to get um, uh, angry into this place. And it's her chestnuts that keep customers coming back for more. This is the chestnut machine cooker. It's roasted it and my husband made it from, from the scratch and he used all bits and pieces so he didn't spend too much money. They are very popular and they are, they are very the, the culture of Italy. As for the cannoli, well, there are over three and a half thousand ready to be sold. It took us a weekend to roll pastry. It's, a, it's an art on its own. It took two days to make the, the, the custard filling, 187 batches. <laughs> But it's not just the food that's set to knock the socks off these festival visitors. Some of the entertainment will give those game enough a different perspective on the Ingham region. This helicopter will be making flights the entire weekend, giving people a very scenic view of Ingham's surrounding islands, beaches and cane paddocks. Some would say it's a pretty priceless view, but for $50 those game enough can be a part of it. But the entertainment doesn't stop there. There's the talent straight from Italy. The busking. The Italian festival We all like to eat spagbol When we come to this great Taito wetlands <laughs> The grape stomping pasta eating competition. And even local art displays. I moved into the area three years ago and, and with this sort of thing, these 
special events like the festival. Uh, it's a good place to get out and meet people and find people who have old sores they want to part with, also people who have sores they would like to be painted. And it reminds the younger Italians where they've come from. Well, my last name's Venturato, so obviously I'm Italian. Being an Italian family around those times of year, Christmas and Easter, it's always lots of food and um, everyone comes home and we have working bees about a month before to make the ravioli and the gnocchi and all those type of goodies. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Visitors say it's worth the drive to the north to experience this little Italy. I don't really know much about all the different sorts, so we can try them all out here. Yeah. That's good. Italian food. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> pizza and pasta. We're going to do the pizza competition. And it's agreed that this excitement is desperately needed by the town. Just six months ago, Ingham and its surrounding regions were devastated by Cyclone Yasi, a Category 5 cyclone. Some houses were completely wiped out and cane paddocks were flattened. Well, all we need is people to understand that you just can't sit back. You've got to look forward and, and try to improve the situation as you go along. Thousands of people are expected to have had the Ingham Italian Festival experience this weekend. The town can only hope that it'll keep visitors coming back for more. After Yazi's blow to the tourism industry of the north, any attention these northern towns can get will be welcomed with open arms. Ciao a tutti. We, we aspettiamo. <laughs> <laughs>